Welcome to the vlog. Are you ready for today's adventure? All right, so without any further ado, let's get this party going. Let's go. Well, welcome to my vlog, everyone. It is Sunday. What a wonderful day. Seems like every day is a wonderful day. There's a little breeze. Ah, nice. Nice. Not so hot, not so cold. But you gotta love Sunday. You gotta love the weather like this. It's beautiful. Are you going out? You're not? Oh my god. Why are you afraid of going out? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, you. You go out. Okay. I wonder what uh, life is going on. Let's see, in the Philippines. Okay, I have family there in the Philippines. What are you guys up to down there? How's the COVID? Okay, I took my hat. I almost forgot to take my hat off the front of my car. Last time I had my hat on there and it was recording and it left an image there of my hat on the video. It was an annoying thing. Well, Sunday, and you, you know, Sunday is supposed to be a day of rest, but uh, it seems like every single day is a day of rest for a lot of people. And uh, if people are not wondering, if this is the last week where people are going to get that, I was reading about it, about getting that extra, was it $600 a week from the government. So if you're counting on getting that, you probably, you probably will get it, but this is the last week. Wow, man. $600 a week? Shoot, I wish I could get that and not work. Man, oh man. Well, while we're doing a pit stop before we're going to go out, um, I'm out, uh, out and about again looking for some adventure. So listen, guys, stay tuned. We'll be right back. And be, uh, I'm glad that you're here on the vlog. We'll be back in a sec. Well, welcome back. We are back and on the move. Well, sorry guys, I had to make a short stop again. I had to do a few errands. Like every chance I'm out, I've tried to do something to keep myself busy. Uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, let's see what's going on. Oh man, the traffic doesn't seem to be bad. I'm not going to go on the freeway. I was going to go do some vlogging in downtown today, but, and I'm using the word, but, <laughs> why am I always using that word, but, in my conversation? <laughs> hey, listen, they had some recent protests again last night, supposedly it was supposed to be a peaceful demonstration of people together, and in the end, of course, you know what? the outcome is going to be these people got out of control again and they kind of like uh, graffitied a lot of places in downtown hey you know people you're not achieving anything by doing that it's a, it's a mess already in Oakland already there's nothing to steal in downtown it's already most of the stores are closed. Everybody doesn't want to be hanging around in downtown. <coughs> Excuse me. You're out there trying to cause mischief. But see, that's what's going on here. And although the mainstream media, CBS, the Communist News Network, the, uh, the mentally... <laughs> what, do they, what do they call MSNBC? The, the retarded people, uh, the... Uh, CBS News, the K KTVU, the uh, KPIX. None of those news outlets. They go out. They don't go out there and film. Cause you know when the American people see all these retarded. Well, actually, they're Democrats. Okay, so you don't believe me. Well, that's your fault. But we need to spread the word and be more. Uh, not afraid to speak up I'm trying to say and uh, try to get back and show exactly the real world what some of these people are doing but they 
getting back to the rioters yesterday riot when you go around spray painting again spray painting buildings and then screaming and shouting and as you remember the mayor of Oakland she's going black lives matter yeah we support it I support it that's the mayor Libby Schaap that that uh, another democratic maniac stupid woman who did nothing for the city she's trying to defund the police you know, there's not enough police officers in Oakland. They need at least about 500 more recruits. But man, you know what? Nobody wants to be a cop, even though their pay is good. And those cops nowadays, they're just, they're just disappointed. They're disappointed in the fact that, man, the city doesn't back them up. It seems like everybody's against them. It's all these radical people. Damn, man, all these... I don't know why... How these people, these radicals, ever got into office, got elected to office, these people are really bad. And the Democratic Party sucks. Yeah, listen, listen, people. Now, don't be ignorant, okay? You can be a Democrat, you can be a Republican, and they're bad. There are a lot of bad Republicans, too. Oh, hang on for a second. I'll be back. All right, we're back. Well, listen, I didn't want to do this today because it's Sunday, but I thought I'd just go around East Oakland again today and show you what's going on here in this part of Oakland. And you just have to be very careful while you're driving here. There's a lot of people that are walking. There's a bright sunshine and you know, Oakland is a wonderful city. It has so much to offer to people. Cheap labor, cheap, <laughs> is that wonderful, cheap labor? No, nah, I mean, they have a, a lot of jobs that were available. They have a, a cheap housing, cheap rent. Everything is reasonable. That's why people move here, especially third world people. But look around you here. Even in this part of uh, East Oakland, I see just mountains of trash. Damn, man. In neighborhoods, residential neighborhoods here, people who are uh, basically um, parking their abandoned vehicles or their homes out on the side of the street, on the, near the sidewalks, and then just all the garbage, man, that they, they gather and they pile it up at the places where they're staying. Oh man, you gotta hate people like that. What does the city do about it? Nothing. You got the homeless guy in front of your house with all that garbage. You know what garbage does? Garbage, man, it attracts rats. Well, this is part of East Oakland and I'm just showing you how some of the people out here, there are really a lot of stupid people. Like this guy in the gray car. Another stupid, he, he overtakes me. You can't pass over here in this area. You're not allowed to. There's a double yellow line, but this guy is an idiot. He, he doesn't have it. I mean, that's why I don't like driving around in the city because you just have people that don't have any regard for you as a driver. They don't follow the, uh, the road signs or stop signs, you name it, they don't do it. And you get scared because maybe you'll get hit by somebody who's uh, driving without a license or insurance. And let me tell you, I do not want to get hit by a, another guy without insurance. I mean, I got hit several times this year alone by people who are just in a hurry to get somewhere. But this is part of uh, Jingle Town. They call it Jingle Town, supposedly. There were a lot of Asians over here, but it's not really that, it's not really true. And here's another guy, see, there's another guy that is driving really fast. 
It's okay. Let them drive fast. You, you know, hopefully they will crash into somebody. You definitely don't want to flip somebody off over here if they're going to... Or do some road rage over here because some of these people in Oakland, man, they got guns. They won't hesitate to fire a shot at you just because you just give them the, a dirty look. They call that mean mugging here. Mean mugging is when you look at somebody because you didn't like what they do. But you know, these people, man, a lot of these people in this city, they're criminals. This is a haven for criminals. It's a sanctuary city. Nobody could get you or nobody could arrest you if you are an illegal here. That's why the criminals come here to Oakland. And that's why the Trump administration has been trying to crack down on these cities because, you know, you have decent people who live here. And then you want criminals running running left and right, just trampling on your your rights. And, and you're, you'd be scared. You'd be frightened to be living in a, a city where all these criminals are roaming around with guns ready to rob you and burglarize. Look at the houses here. You can see mostly 90% of the houses here have an iron gate. Can't get into their house. Can't get in because it's, it's gated. And why do you think they put a gate there? <laughs> Almost 90%, man. I got to be careful here, too, on the stoplight because, man, these people, they don't stop. They don't stop. Well, I'm heading out towards uh, as far as I can go in um, East Oakland. And just to show you, there's a lot of nice people out here. I grew up here. Those are the issues that I have with this, this city is the fact that... Uh, homelessness and crime is so high here you can't even walk around in the parts of Oakland downtown is not too bad now I mean because the mayor of course lives there she's she delegates a lot of the uh, police uh, police agencies over there to patrol and make sure that it's safe because you see a lot of people white people are moving in there So they want to make sure that they don't, they're safe, that they're protected because they're, they're the ones that are paying most of the taxes because um, they're the ones that are paying and buying all the houses. But there's a lot of tech industries now in downtown Oakland. And so the tech industries attract a lot of really brilliant and smart uh, engineers and IT workers. And they bring a lot of revenue and money to the to the government, so you don't want to lose that for years now. Oakland had had no businesses, hardly, and no basically no tech jobs or anything at all because companies would would not like to to go there and and uh, set up business. But now it's different because property property is getting higher and expensive every day. So uh, these big tech companies, you know, they're expanding and places in San Francisco are out of control. So that's why they moved to Oakland and, and Oakland, you know, has seen a recent surge in businesses. But after all these protests and all that that's been going on in the city, I don't know how long it's going to take before some of these businesses move out again. They don't want it. They don't want to be in Oakland, man. I wouldn't want to be in Oakland. And that's this is the city. Inner city. They call this the ghetto. And there is just too much poverty here. And people, look at this, man. Right here on the right side, man. These people are just... Building a house here. Oh, okay. Look, this is a white guy. What the hell is this white guy? Oh, my God. He puts a huge tent right there on the corner. So what do you do? How do you leave when you go out? Do you leave your 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 uh, tent unattended? So who's going to stop somebody like another homeless person that moves into your place or takes your stuff, steals your tent? Uh, it's kind of... It's kind of a sad thing to see. Oh, 
Okay, now this is the fruit bell section and I, I vlogged here several times. And even though it's uh, used to be really dangerous out here with the COVID, it's kind of like kept people from hanging out and loitering in the streets. When you got too many people loitering in the streets, there's always some some problems that will, will come up. A lot of people will be um, looking at you or saying some stupid comments to you. You have the gangbangers hanging out on the streets. You don't see that much here. Even the gangbangers. I used to drive around over there right over here on 35th before because there's a church there a Catholic church I used to go there and um, you could see the gangbangers on the corners and you know when you see somebody a lookouts in the corner you know you gotta go the other way you don't ever go towards that area but what if you lived in that neighborhood if your house was there on that block have you ever watched some of those YouTube videos about Compton and Watts and um, Fairfax Avenue areas over there in uh, LA. Shoot, talk about gangsters at the corner. That's all you see at the projects. That's scary as hell. You got dudes with no work, nothing to do but hang out. That is scary. Well, here at Fruit Bell, I see a few businesses here with set up tables to eat. That's good. Oh, look, here's some people eating outside. I like that. Those people are not going to be afraid to go out. You know, if these businesses don't open and operate at least 60 to 70 percent, this economy here in these cities are not going to improve. And that's the thing that you have to understand. There are a lot of places in, in, in the country that are doing really well. They're, six, they're being successful because they're opening up. But it's these democratic cities, these governors and these democratic mayors that are, that are spewing a lot of this hate and anger and try to scare you and all that because they, they don't want the, um, the Republican Party to be successful. They want it to go down because... Republicans have really exposed all the corruption in the uh, Democratic Party. You know, I'm, I'm really passionate about my party. Listen, I was a Democrat for so many years, but when I see seen a lot of the bad things they've done and the things they have never done to improve, I got out. I opened up my eyes and realized, man, what am I supporting this stupid party who have done nothing but uh, promote hatred God doesn't want us to do that ladies and gentlemen God wants us to love thy neighbor God doesn't want us to go around controlling you and me and telling you what to do we have the Constitution of the United States of America that guarantees our right to bear arms <laughs> Oh, look at that car that got hit. Oh, my God. Did you see that? That's a nice Lexus. Somebody hit that sucker. That's why I don't like driving out here. And I probably won't drive here too long, but I just wanted to show you. You know, yesterday I was in downtown Oakland, and I missed the protest by maybe a couple of hours. Oh, my God. I'm so thankful that uh, I was able to get away in time because I didn't want to get caught up in that protests because the rioters man they went crazy again they uh, graffitied all the uh, buildings and where was the police or was the mayor maybe the mayor was eating ice cream but we need to focus a lot on what's going on on these major cities you could see it hopefully you'll be able to see it now look at the dollar store you can't see it I'm sorry for changing the subject but look at the dollar store. Oh, you can't see it on the left. Man, they vandalized that store. They spray painted it. Ah, man, with businesses being difficult to uh, 
you keep here in the city, why would you want to destroy somebody's ability to, to earn a living? You know, th this part of um, Oakland is also called Jingle Town, East 12. Many Asians live out here, Vietnamese, Cambodians, Lao, Filipinos. There's a lot here. You gotta remember years ago, the houses here were so cheap, dirt cheap, you could buy it. You could basically live here and survive. But now what you got now is, oh wow, what is that over there? I'm sorry, I'm looking to the left. It looks like a very fancy restaurant there. Oh, it's like a bakery. Oh man, I wish I could turn my camera over there, although my camera, I can't do it. It's, it's mounted on my dash. Well, now that's the thing. You've got all these nice, wonderful people here. There's a lot of Visayans here. From Cebu and Mindanao living around here, I know them. And here you are living in a city that's surrounded by all of this uh, stupid, retarded policies. They want you to tell you to do this, and you can't do this, you can't do that. And it's not good. So now we're going to Lake Merritt. I just wanted to show you what's going on. I said earlier in my, my vlog, we're going to go there and check it out. All right, we'll be back. Well, that's the video for today, people. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. And please hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the video. And thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next video vlog. Take care. Bye.